When I was doing my master's, it became clear to me that two topics that I was interested in, climate change and migration, were kind of interacting with each other in new and interesting ways, which I thought had been underexplored. Yeah. This is really an emerging public policy issue, and I'm hopeful, um, at least, that some of my research might help policy ma makers and the public to reflect on the moral values that underlie our response to migration and displacement relating to climate change. So one interesting example is the way in which um, refugee protection operates internationally at the moment. So some people have suggested that people displaced by climate change might qualify for refugee status or something like refugee status. But a lot of cases of climate related migration look quite unlike familiar cases of refugee movement. Um, for example, they're resulting from slow onset environmental changes like drought and sea level rise, and perhaps they're internal. So it's an interesting question to think about um, what the kind of moral grounding of the refugee regime is and whether that might also apply to people displaced by climate change. Yes, I think that I've been very fortunate in that I've been able to spend a total of six months um, in Frankfurt at the Normative Orders Cluster of Excellence, where for somebody very senior in my field, Professor Daryl Mollendorf works, and I was able to work with him there. And that was really a fantastic opportunity that I don't think I would have had, had it not been for the connections between Reading's Centre for Climate and Justice and the climate justice community more broadly. Reading's provided a whole host of opportunities to me. Um, in particular, amongst the PhD students, there's really great overlap between politics and philosophy. And we've, um, I've been involved in a reading group, Reading Ethics and Political Philosophy, and several conferences that have been organised under that. Um, but also Reading's been a, an incredibly supportive place to do a PhD. My supervisors have been fantastic. So the graduate school has been really important in my time during the PhD. Um, I think the thing that it does really well is provide a sense of community for the PhD students. It's not just the administrative centre for PhDs, but it's also somewhere where you can go and have lunch and see people you know. Uh, doing a PhD can, in some cases, be quite a lonely experience. You're working on your own narrow niche. Um, and I think it's really important that the graduate school has been able to um, create a community of researchers. Ideally, in, in five years' time, um, I'd be still working in academia in a job that would allow me to do both research, which I've really enjoyed throughout the PhD, but also teaching, which I've, I've come to really like as well.